Hey, what's up, guys? We got another Pokemon X and Y Wi-Fi battle here today, and uh, we're gonna be spicing things up with an RU battle against my boy Jack. And uh, taking a look down at the bottom of my team, I have a Focus Sash standard lead Smeargle with Stealth Rock and Sticky Web, that stuff. Um, this is a Guts Radicate. I saw Hayden using it, and I thought, wow, that thing is pretty awesome. So I'm, I'm gonna try it out myself. And uh, yeah, I've got a, a Guts Radicate with Flame Orb. This Electros is actually an interesting set. I decided to run Coil with uh, mixed attacking so that I could use Zap Cannon because it has a 100% chance to para like paralyze something. And it does a hell of a lot of, a, of damage on the special side. So I have Coil, Zap Cannon, and then Crunch and Brick Break for coverage physical moves. And uh, with Brave Nature so that I don't actually reduce my special attack. So it still hits relatively hard with that Zap Cannon there. Then I have... Uh, what is this? This is actually just my standard Delphox. It's called mine Delphox with leftovers, uh, three attacks. Then I have a choice specs, Rotom Cut. And, uh, yeah, Rotom Cut's pretty cool. The, all these Pokemon are RU. I couldn't believe, like, the power that was an RU. Met Metagem, especially. Like, wow. Although I did realize after this battle that, uh, Mega Metagem is not actually in RU. So I'm actually using Mega Metagem right now in this match. But it, as you guys are going to see, it doesn't actually even come into play. But it could have. I'm, I've said too much. Sorry. <laughs> Alright, so I'm going to leave my Smeargle. And I, by the way, I did change my Metagem, though. I changed it for a Choice Scarf one, so it's fully legal RU team now. Anyways, I leave with my Smeargle. He leaves with his Torterra. We're just going to exchange rocks first turn. I obviously can't put him to sleep because I have Spore, not, uh, not Dark Void. And now I'm just going to go for my Sticky Web, so I get both of my hazards up as uh, he's going to go for the Earthquake. I was really happy that he attacked me here because... I do carry Destiny Bond as my fourth move on my Smeargle, and because he attacked me, I thought, well, it's been a while since I've used this against Jack, maybe he forgets that I have Destiny Bond, and uh, luckily for me, as you guys are going to see, he attacks me, so I guess he did not see that coming, must have forgotten that I have Destiny Bond on this thing, and I'm going to be able to take out the Torterra, so that was beneficial for me. We both got up our rocks, but then I also got up Sticky Web, and uh, both of our, our leads are now gone, but this is fine, now I'm going to go into my Rotom Cut. Because I have the Sticky Web up, there's nothing really on his team that's going to want to take a Volt Switch. As he goes into his Meg Mordar here, and uh, I know Meg Mordar's got pretty good special defense, so I figured I wouldn't be able to kill it with a thun uh, Choice Specs Thunderbolt, so I was like, I'll Volt Switch on out of here. But holy shit, look how much damage that did. Way too much damage. Calm down, Rotom Cut. That was, that was insane. So I almost actually killed it with a Volt Switch. But because I Volt Switched, I'm going to have to go in something. That something is going to be my Delphox. Because I know I can take uh, pretty much any hit, um, because Delphox has pretty good special defense. But that Fire Blast did a lot as well, so well, I, don't, I don't even know what to think at this point. But uh, this Meg Mortar definitely seems offensive by how much damage it took from the Volt Switch. As uh, now he's going to go into his War Turtle, and I'm going to go for the Calm Mind, predicting the Switch. But it's been such a long time that I've battled against the War Turtle that there's something I'm going to forget about here. And uh, as I go for the Calm Mind. In the in the chat that we had on Skype, he was like, "Yo, I got haze," and I was like, "No haze, shit." So uh, not only is he gonna be able to rapid spin my hazards away here, because Delphox cannot cannot hurt a freaking Eviolite War Turtle, uh, but he's also going to be able to go for the haze eventually. But I decided that he would most likely want to go for the rapid spin right away, so I'm going to go for another Calm Mind, just so I can hit him just that much harder. Also, you never know, he could have been bluffing the Haze thing, so why not set up while I have the opportunity, as I am now at plus two, special attack. He does go for the rapid spin, unfortunately for me, he's going to be able to get rid of that Sticky Web and Stealth Rocks, so that really sucks for me that he's able to uh, get rid of those hazards so early in the battle. And Psyshock does like over half, but... It's to be expected, War Turtle has pretty good defense, and with Eviolite, it's pretty beastly, and <laughs> he takes those hits. And not only that, he is going to go for the Haze, which <laughs> completely sucks, but I figured he would just go for the Scald here, and that, knowing that he most likely wouldn't have anything to hurt me, I'm just going to stay and go for another Calm Mind, I mean, why not? As he does go for the Toxic, this is fine by me, though. To be honest, either way, Scald, Toxic, I would have been able to take a Scald pretty well, um... I believe, and Toxic is, it's obviously going to mean that Hocus is eventually going to die, but before Hocus dies, I'm hoping I can take this War Turtle down with me, so I'm just going to go for the Shadow Ball here. I'm at plus one special attack, and uh, it doesn't quite kill him, 
but it does a decent amount. And I, w I just wanted to see if Shadow Ball would do more than the stab Psy Shock because I thought he might be like bold with max HP and max defense, but I can't really tell to be honest based on that damage. But yeah, either way, War Turtle is uh, gonna go down to a flamethrower this turn, so that's nice. Got that thing out of here, but War Turtle definitely, definitely did its job. Definitely did its job. It got rid of the hazards and prevented me from setting up on it, so job well done by War Turtle. So Hocus is just chilling here, looking alright. Looking okay. And uh, we got 61 HP now. Meg Mordar is gonna come in, and the only reason why he would bring in Meg Mordar here is if he's scarfed, as he is gonna go for the Thunderbolt here. But Hocus ends up living it. Delphox has that natural special bulk. I could not believe that I lived that, to be honest. Just based on how much damage the Fire Blast did previously. But yeah, Delphox hangs on with like a sliver of HP. And I'm going to be able to take out the uh, the Scarfed Mega Mordor. Which is nice, because without Sticky Web, that thing could have been a slight problem. Maybe. I don't even really remember what I have left on my team. Uh, I have, he could have made some plays around it. I think that uh, that definitely was really good for me. <laughs> Anyways, now that Make Mortar is gone, I'm gonna be free to go in my Rotom Kai here, and I make a questionable play here. He has his uh, what does he have left? He has a few. Oh, he has a uh, Gordur left with Eviolite as well. So I go for the trick on the Excavalier, wanting just to cripple this thing by giving him a choice spec, so he's locked into one move, and uh, with a spec, he's not gonna gain any boost. So, uh, yeah, I made that play, it was maybe, it was a little bit questionable, but what it's going to allow me to do is actually go into my Electros here, and, uh, go right for that coil, and he is going to switch out into his Gerdur, I'm not 100% sure, um, whether or not that was his best play, but I, I think it was, he does have knockoff, so it was a good play, but maybe the Mega Horn would have done enough to, like, maybe 3 hit KO, I don't even really know, to be honest with you guys, but he definitely... Definitely was locked into Mega Horn, so I don't know. Maybe he just wanted to switch out so he could switch up moves later. But either way, as you guys can see, this is working out great for me because I'm going to be able to set up some coils. Set up a coil on the switch, go for another coil against the Gerdurus. He actually makes a misclick here and goes right for the Drain Punch. He actually meant to hit Knockoff, which would have been a lot more beneficial for him. But I mean, I'm not complaining. This is all good for me, so I'm going to be able to get another coil up. And I'm at plus 3 attack, plus 3 defense, and plus 3 accuracy. So my zap cannons are not going to be missed. And that 50% accuracy is boosted right up. And uh, he's going to go for the knockoff this turn. As I'm going to reveal the zap cannon here. As he actually makes a switch out into his uh, furfuru. Furfro, whatever. And uh, yeah, King K. King Kai. It's all black and dark. I didn't even, I've never seen a shiny furfuru before until just now. Either way. The Zap Cannon is going to land and cripple the uh, Fur Fro with the Paralysis. Like I said, it's 100% chance to paralyze, so it works out actually pretty good. And I'm going to go for the super effective Brick Break now. I'm at plus 3 attack with uh, Brave Nature max attack, max HP. So, uh, yeah, and 4 special attack. So they're definitely going to be able to kill Luck. I was actually kind of concerned because Fur Fro is really, really physically bulky, but he does go down, and now he's going to go back into a Scavalier Fools from. Uh, oh man, I already forget the name of the show. Uh, this nickname is from, but he told me, uh, I don't even remember. Anyways, anyways, the uh, Zap Cannon is not going to be enough. I'm going to try and take him out with a Crunch here, and, uh, actually do take out the Scavalier with a Crunch. I'm at, like I said, I am at plus three, so, I mean, this thing hits relatively hard, I guess, but the Scavalier's got some pretty good bulk, so I was kind of surprised that I killed him. But, you know, this is good for me, freaking, uh, freaking what's-his-face over here, this, uh, electric eel fish thing, <laughs> doing some work. I've never used Electros before until just now. This is the first time I've ever used Electros, which is just crazy because it was pretty popular back in fifth gen. But I never, I never really got on the Electros trend until just now. But I'm liking this thing, so yeah, Electros pretty good. And uh, yeah, Gerdur is going to eventually be able to take me out here, just with that incredible bulk with the Evio light. And uh, yeah, I'm not going to be able to hit him really hard, so he ends up taking out Electros. But this allows me to go into my... Oh, I actually make a few kind of weird plays here. I go into my Raticate here. I make a stupid play here, although it doesn't even matter because this is his last Pokemon. And uh, I go into my Raticate, go for the Protect just to get the uh, Flame Orb to activate so I can get my Guts and ensure that Facade takes him out. But uh, I kind of forgot about Mach Punch, and to be honest, I was questioning whether or not I could live it, but nope, not going to be able to take that, and Raticate's going to die pointlessly. And uh, now I'm just going to force my hand. I'm going to have to go into Mega Metacham here. Well... Metacham, 
I do Mega Evolve, and uh, I play extra, extra safe. I'm, I, I, like I said, guys, I did not realize that the Mega, or the, the Meta Chamite or whatever was banned for RU, because this is the first RU, official RU battle I've actually had, so. But yeah, I definitely have changed it to Choice Scarf, and as you can see, from the range of HPs that I don't, yeah, I know that the, uh, the fact that I was Mega did not even make a difference. Psycho Cut would have been able to kill regardless. And, uh, yeah, good fun close match against Jack. So, hope you guys enjoyed watching this RU battle. And, uh, have another RU match that I had with this team that was pretty cool as well. Pretty close fun battle. And I'll probably upload that one maybe in the next couple days. Maybe even later today. I have no freaking clue with you, to be honest with you guys. But, I'll be uploading it pretty soon. But, let me know if you want me to upload, like, other tier stuff. Like, I can upload the RU match, or I could upload like an OU battle or something instead. It's whatever you guys want, really. But, uh, yeah, said enough. Kind of rambling as I tend to at the end of videos. So, that's about it, guys. You have a good day. I'm out of here. Catch you later. Peace.